If you've just recently joined us, uh, the Crew 2 crew is on board Crew Dragon Endeavor, uh, which we just had a view of moments ago. They have departed the space station. They had an on-time separation at 11.05 a.m. Pacific, and they are currently executing a fly-around maneuver um, around the station. And after that, uh, they will be executing four uh, burns, essentially, uh, a series of carefully choreographed uh, maneuvers in order to put Dragon on a trajectory uh, back home. We are anticipating a splashdown at 7.33 p.m. Pacific time this evening, uh, just off the coast of Pensacola, Florida. We're getting high definition views from the International Space Station. These cameras uh, on a camera assembly, which includes high definition and standard definition views, as well as the ability to manually control each of the individual cameras that are positioned on the station's truss. There is a single position inside Mission Control Houston now, uh, the Cronus position, a person who is literally on the ground in Houston manually controlling each of these views. The Cronus has full autonomy to position the cameras wherever is needed to get views of the action, in this case, is the fly around of Crew 2 and Dragon Endeavor around the International Space Station. Earlier, you were seeing that uh, same console position adjust the exposure or the aperture of some of the cameras, uh, which allows the uh, some of the plumes coming from the Draco thrusters to be seen as the image is overexposed. But in this scenario with uh, the daylight, uh, we can very clearly see uh, the Dragon making its way to the forward end of the station. And we're seeing some features of the space station itself. Right now you're seeing uh, on the very bottom left of your screen uh, the, uh, the gem. This is the Cronus. Uh, this is the individual, the Cronus. Uh, he's actually sitting there controlling the cameras on the International Space Station. Not a bad job to have. <laughs> Um, as he's, uh, he's using some of the truss cameras, they're high definition, to, to check out some of these views. This is the Japanese module. You can see on the very right uh, the flag of Japan clearly marked on that module. Right above that towards the space-facing side is the logistics module, essentially the storage area. And then uh, the Japanese module has its own airlock to put out experiments. It's too small to fit humans. We have bigger airlocks for that. But this airlock is small enough to fit some of the payloads or experiments, many of which you see on this external platform, each with their own um, grappling fixture to allow the robotic arm to maneuver it wherever it needs to go. One of the experiments on that uh, external platform is called uh, the OCO3, or the Orbin Carbon Observatory 3. As a space station covers about 85% of the inhabited Earth, that w one of the experiments is looking down at the Earth, uh, monitoring carbon all across the planet. We're seeing that external facility as well as the Dragon come into the forward end of the International Space Station, hovering about 200 meters away. Fantastic views all around. And as we've mentioned earlier, uh, the whole point for doing this fly around maneuver uh, essentially is to take pictures of the station. Uh, there have been a number of new installations uh, put on station since the last fly around maneuver. And so this is a great opportunity to document the exterior of the station, basically do a photographic survey and uh, be able to see parts of the station that some of the onboard cameras might not be able to reach. If you look closely, you can still see Dragon there, just kind of off to the right hand, uh, slightly right of center. Yeah, you got to squint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can see it a little bit there, uh, pretty much directly in the center of the screen now. Gary, a lot of what you just mentioned about all the different modules uh, and components of the space station uh, really highlight you know, the 
the first and possibly the most important thing about the space station is that it is international. Um, it's, it is the International Space Station, and all of these experiments and modules um, are a really great representation of teamwork. Um, also represented uh, by our crew members on board today, um, we have JAXA astronaut Aki Hoshide, um, European Space Agency astronaut Toma Pesquet, and of course, um, two NASA astronauts, Shane Kimbrough and Megan MacArthur. So um, it's a great demonstration of international effort and cooperation, really. You, you were seeing some of the features on the space station themselves, modules owned and operated by different uh, space agencies. We even have commercial modules as we're transitioning to enable commercial activities in low Earth orbit, all enabled by this uh, orbiting complex. Uh, now getting some fantastic brand new views from the Dragon crew, taking photos of the outside all along the way, being able to capture for history this moment in time, uh, 2021, as we uh, have new modules that have been added since the last photographic survey, which happened in 2018 aboard a Russian Soyuz. We added some commercial modules, uh, some some international and commercial partnerships, uh, namely the commercial module being the Nanorax Bishop Airlock, uh, and then that, inter that uh, international commercial partnership being the uh, uh, Bartolomeo platform, an external platform on the Columbus side, which we haven't seen. We've seen the external platform on the, on the Japanese side, but um, from this view, uh, now that the Dragon is approaching the very forward end of the International Space Station, uh, which it should be getting to here momentarily, about uh, 10 minutes, uh, this is yeah, approximately the position where the Dragon is now, uh, a little more than halfway to the fo very forward position, but right about that, uh, position, you, they should be getting some very good views of some of those new modules, including and, and platforms, including Bartolomeo. And this will be the first time that we've had uh, views like this of Bartolomeo uh, the, uh, as part of an external survey, uh, part of the ever evolving uh, International Space Station. So they, they're a great shot looking top down from uh, the station at Dragon. As the what appears to us as the bottom part of Crew Dragon comes into view, you can actually see the side hatch door, uh, which is where the crew entered into the capsule um, 199 days ago when they <laughs> launched from um, Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center. Uh, that hatch has been closed since, and it will reopen tonight once after they splash down off the coast of Florida. And that will, once that side hatch opens, that will basically be their first breath of fresh air uh, since launching almost 200 days ago. I bet they are very excited to see their families once again. It won't be long until they are recovered by the SpaceX recovery teams. Uh, they're joint with NASA and uh, as well as some uh, European doctors. It truly is an international effort, even out in the uh, middle of the Gulf, uh, to recover some of these crew. But it won't be long until they're flown back to shore. Uh, they'll have planes uh, stationed for them, ready to get them back home uh, to see their respective families. That is an incredible shot there of the earthly horizon with Crew Dragon rising above. Bonus, bonus points to Cronus. <laughs> Somebody at Houston, please give him a gold star. 